In this how-to video, we'll talk about how Vila can be used to identify network bottlenecks within your environment. As you have already seen, Vila has the capability to identify application or network bottlenecks using dependency mapping. Within Vila, you can create various service groups and create these dependency maps to get end-to-end -end visibility. In this particular case, we are looking at the end-to-end -end visibility right from the thin clients, the connection servers, the VDI desktops, the load balancers, the web servers, and the database. Here, you can quickly take a look at the lines and identify where the bottlenecks are. Quickly, between the load balancer and the web servers, you can see that there is an orange line. By simply hovering over, you can quickly see that in this particular case, the bottleneck essentially lies in the application side of things. Your network shows up as zero milliseconds, indicating that there are no particular network bottlenecks. However, if network was the case, you can quickly take a look at it and differentiate an application or a network related issue. Within the network analysis view, you can also find some interesting statistics with regards to networking. The network analysis view provides you with an end-to-end -end visibility right from the top of the rack switch to the host, the DV switches, the port groups, the virtual machines, and all the different applications that are running in it. The timeline on top basically provides you with the data volume. As you can see, there are areas with very high data volume, so you can take the time slider and move it across. Looking at this particular time window, you can see that there is a huge volume of IPOF traffic. The IPOF traffic is basically run between this database load balancer and the MySQL database. It's on the VM network, the vSwitch, and it's on this host. You can quickly get an understanding for what's going on within this environment. Hovering over one of these virtual machines, you can quickly see all the information with regards to its network response times, fatal retries, virtual packet drops, and zero windows. Similarly, you can also get visibility into all the different kinds of applications that are running inside it and the total bytes volume. In this particular case, there's about 81 gigs of IPO of traffic that's traversing across the environment. You can also look into the network conversations view to get a better understanding of the network conversations that are taking place within the environment. This pie chart basically provides you with the most talkative virtual machines within your environment. As you can clearly see, between this time range, the top talkers are MySQL to the database load balancer. Hovering on top, you can quickly see the amount of traffic volume between the load balancer to the SQL database, you can see there's 88 gigs of traffic. However, from MySQL to the load balancer, there's only 2.95 kilobytes of traffic. Using this view, you can also get a better understanding of the network response times, fatal retries, and any other issues within the environment. You can also use the table view to filter down on important applications within your environment. Say you're interested in the DNS service. If you simply filter based on the DNS service, you can quickly see all the different systems that are using the DNS service. Here, your main domain controller, and you can see all the different virtual machines communicating with the domain controller for DNS service. Based on looking at the round trip times, you can see that they are quite low. Similarly, no issues on the fatal retries, resets, or zero windows. Finally, when it comes to network analysis, a very important component is to be able to look into the network devices. Here, we look and capture information regarding 
the network switches, routers, firewalls, load balancers, and any other networking equipment within your environment. This will help us bridge the gap between the physical environment and the virtual environment within, within your data center. Here, you can quickly identify all the different devices based on their names. And in this particular scenario, it can be clearly seen that this Ubiquiti router has an issue on the second port. By hovering over, you can quickly see it's a one gigabyte port. It's the internet port and it has a utilization of about 2.74%. Quickly, it can be discovered that there is a quite a high number of discards during this particular time frame that go up all the way to about 126 packets per minute. This will explain some slownesses and some issues that are taking place within an environment. Moreover, you can also see all the different connected devices and virtual machines using this network device view. In this particular case, we have our top of the rack switches here. By clicking on these ports that have boxes in them, you can quickly take a look at what are the connected devices to it. In this particular case, you can see that this port is connected to the ESX host 4. You can see the connection server, the VIC, and the Apache server are connected to this port. This provides a full-fledged view of the application, network, CPU, memory, and storage health of that particular virtual machine. Similarly, you can also see any trunk ports or connected switch ports within your environment. Ports with arrows in them indicate that they are trunk ports that are connected to other switches. By clicking into it, you can quickly see all the statistics and also look at the switch port information that it is connected to. In this case, this switch port is connected to this particular switch on this port.